Hi, and welcome to another Barvember word problem from White Rose Maths. Um, this is a, quite a tricky one today, I think, a bit of a head scratcher, but let's uh, give it a go. Now, Max has some money. Now, this is always a good place to start, I find. He spends £1,250 on a laptop. He spends a fifth of the remaining money on a phone. He receives £780 more money. And Max now has three quarters of the amount of money that he started with. Now, let's have a look. This is the question. How much money did Max start with? So I always find it very important to make sure I know what am I after and, and keep that in mind. OK, so he starts off with an amount of money. I suppose we could draw a bar for that. Um, he spends... 1,250 on a laptop and then the remaining is split into fifths and he spends one fifth on a phone. He then gets £780 more money, so that's money being added onto the bar and that equals three quarters of the original amount and I'm just struggling with how I'm going to draw that. But so what I think I'm going to do is start at the end because I think I can see how to draw it if I start at the end, which you fa often find with the ones that look a bit tricky. OK, so let's think about what he has at the end. So at the end, he's got three quarters of the amount he start with. That's fine. But what does that constitute? Well, he spent this amount then he had um, the remaining split into fifths, of which he spent one fifth. So he had four fifths left. So I'm going to write that down here. So he had four fifths left. And then he received 780. So four fifths plus 780 equals this three quarters of the original amount. So it equals this three quarters. Now, um, I've got to think about how to to turn this into three quarters. And really what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to divide this by three. And I'm going to do it. Actually, there's an easy way to do it by drawing it. Uh, so and I, actually, if I just draw it, it'll make it much clearer. So, right, let's start. Um, right. So. Here we have. This represents a third, okay, of the four fifths. All right, so this is representing a third of the four fifths. Then this is this bit is not to scale, okay? So this bit represents a third of the seven hundred and eighty, not to scale in relation to these. Um, that are the same size as each other. OK, so that's one of my quarters, one of my three quarters. So I'm going to draw another one. OK, so that's another third of my four fifths. And I'm going to draw this not to scale amount here, which is a third of the 780. Again. A third of the four fifths, and that's a third of the 780. So this, add this, add this, equals 780. So if we divide 780 by 3, we get 260. So 260, 260. 260. And each of these is a quarter of the original amount. Yeah, that's a quarter and that's a quarter. Which then tells us, we can then see if we want to see what the original amount looked like. Here we go. We've got to have another set that's the same, that matches these. Two hundred and sixty. OK, so. 
This now represents the original amount. Okay, so what do we have in the original amount? Well, what we have is all of these equal size blocks. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16. So we've got 16 blocks. Plus we've got the 780 plus 260. So we've got 16 blocks plus 1,040. So 16 blocks plus 1,040 equals the original amount. So, well, this is great. This is always a, a good place to be in a bar model because we have an amount that we know and then we have these 16 blocks that are all of equal size. So clearly what we need to figure out is the size of one of these blocks. So how are we going to do that? In fact, one thing we could do, we could actually redraw this and that's going to make it a bit easier. Um, right, so I might have to check that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. All right. So that's our 16 blocks. Now, remember when I added those, those, um, that 780 distributed over the three quarters, you know, it wasn't to scale. So actually what I'm going to do is use dotted lines here to okay so this is not to scale all right and so we've got the 16 blocks and we know that this okay is I think I'll use that pen 1040 okay right so what else do we know? Well, we remember we know that um, one fifth was spent on a phone. Now remember we have we distributed those fifths over the three quarters. So actually, three of these blocks represents one of those original fifths. So if we think about it, so that's going to be that's one two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the five fifths. And here is the phone. So that's one fifth and that's the amount that was spent on the phone. Now, what else do we know? We know that from the original amount, he spent 1250 on a laptop and that's what left him with these with these five fifths so actually if i use a blue so this is the amount that was originally left okay that was then split into fifths and so here this must be the 1,250. Okay, so 1,250, so this was the original, that's how much money we had originally, and 1,250 was taken away until we got to this point. And so you can now see here we've got a difference, and that difference very conveniently matches one of our blocks. So one of our blocks is the difference between 1,250 and 1,040, and that is 210. So now we know that each of these blocks is 
um, 210, sorry, not 2010, 210. All right, so each of these blocks has a value of 210. All right, so what do we have to do in order to work it out? Well, we need to do, we remember, what's the original amount? Well, the original amount is 16 blocks plus 1,040. Well, 16 times 210 is 3,360, okay? And then 3,360 add, and what do we have to add to it? We have to add the 1,040, yes, that's right. So 1,040, which gives us a grand total of 4,000 four hundred pounds. Lucky Max. That's how much he had at the start. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you and I hope that helps with figuring out how to use bar models.